Welcome to another edition of Hawk TV. I'm DeAndre Hill. And I'm Lenny Quay Woods. On this episode, we will look into Mr. Barnett's fourth block class to find out what the auto body class has been up to. And in sports, we'll visit with former Southside standout Jalen Buffer as he prepares for his second season at, at Arkansas. But first, a word from the class of 2018 Who's Who's winners. I mean, I just be having everybody cracking up and rolling on a daily basis, though. Don't go anywhere because all TV starts now. Welcome back. Lenique did you enjoy being there for fall break? I did, Andrew. What did you do? I went on a field trip with the RTC cadets in Memphis. Hawk TV reporter tonight, Burton caught up with some students to find out what's the hardest part of coming back from fall break. Coming back from fall break can be a little challenging. After having the week off, getting to stay up late and sleeping all day, let's see how some of our students feel about the challenge. I'm here with... Vondre Thompson. What is the hardest thing about coming back from fall break? For me, it was, it was my birthday weekend, so... I had a lot of fun, and me transitioning back into my school schedule, it kind of disappointed me, you know, to go back to that 6 o'clock, that 6.15 waking up. It's maybe kind of iffy in the morning, but it was all right, I guess. I'm here with Kazana. What is the hardest thing about coming back from fall break? I would say it would be all the taste. Returning from fall break can be a challenge for teachers, too. I also could have with some of our staff to see how they feel as well. I'm here with Lisa Webb. What is the hardest thing about coming back from fall break? Oh, not getting to sleep late anymore and having time to read. I'm here with Coach McNeil. What is the hardest thing about coming back from fall break? Um, the hardest thing is I think just once you get into a rhythm of being here every day and then we get a whole week off and then just trying to get back into that same rhythm that you had prior to the break. Thanks. If you're having trouble getting back into the swing, cheer up. Thanksgiving break is just 33 days away. For Hawk TV, I'm Tanaya Byrne. When we return, Jerry Hurst and Devin Barrows provided us with a look at sports. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Hawk TV, the social eye of Southside. The Beta Mindset revolves around achievement, character, leadership, and serving, which is demonstrating our motto, let us lead by serving others. Be a beacon. Be excellent. Be trustworthy. Be active. Improv is back from the dead at Southside High School on November 4th at 7 o'clock. Be there or be scared. Recently, the Southside Hawks came up with a big district win against Liberty and are, and are now guaranteed a spot in the playoffs. Hawk TV reporter Jerry Hurst has more on this story. Today I'm here with senior JT Russell and he's going to let us know how he feels about the big win over Liberty. Uh, I think it was a good win. It helped us get back on track with our winning and things. You know, it was a good district win. Helped us stay at the second spot, so that's good. All right, appreciate your time, JT. Thank you. I'm here with senior Timothy McGowan to let us know about how he feels about the big win over Liberty and the season this fall. As far as the season, it has been going great so far. I mean, it's been a great run out there grinding with my boys. And as far as the Liberty game, I mean, to grind is to be persistent. And to be persistent is to do it to perfection. And the outcome was anonymous. I just went out there, played my heart out, and laid my team on top. 
I'm here with senior Cameron Daniels to let us know about how he feels about the season this far and what are some things they can get better to keep up a good run for the season as they become closer to playoffs. Oh no, I think we have a pretty good run. You know, going to the playoffs, it's been a few years. And for us to get better, we just need to get smarter on plays, work on our, our work ethic. And uh, that's pretty much it. I don't know what else to put on add to it. Thank you. The goal of most high school athletes is to play in college. One former Hawk is doing just that. Hawk TV reporter Devin Barrow has a report on Jalen Barford. Jalen Barford, a recent graduate and star basketball player at Southside High School, has taken the skills to the next level and he now has played for the Arkansas Razorbacks. I would say work hard, uh, listen to your family, and just stay humble. Jalen's pitched the Razorbacks to make a deep run in the tournament this season. I expect a deeper run in the tournament. I think we'll win the NCC tournament. I think we'll win our league. And, uh, I think we'll at least make it possibly to the Elite Eight, or we'll find for make it to the championship. Back in his high school days, Jalen was named West Tennessee Player of the Year. He also led Southside to the Class AA State Championship as a senior. There are many factors that separate him and other basketball players from Jackson. Uh, high school, I would say just um, the mentality, working hard, just wanting to be different from everybody in the city and really the state. And the you know, same way in college, too. Just having fun, doing what I love to do, and just play basketball. Today, Jack competes on the biggest college stage. He loves to play on national television, and he also loves to experience SC life. Uh, it's fun, you know, we get to play on TV almost every night. Um, of course, we got the powerhouse of football too, so I think it's pretty fun just experiencing the SEC football life. And um, you see the Alabamas, Mississippi State, Ole Miss, Tennessee, all that. So it's pretty fun to just live that life and be in it. This basketball season begins Friday, October 27th, with Jalen and the Razorbacks host Central Oklahoma. Fire TV, I'm Devin Bow. Thanks, Devin. I also caught up with two students from Mr. Brennan's class to see what they're doing this semester. Uh, my favorite project is probably working on Miss Benson's car, which is the one we're doing right now. Um, we uh, fixed her bumper and her and her hood, and we repainted those. And then some of the other guys are working on um, uh, another car for another teacher. I would like to learn how to how to paint. Um, that's something I w I've been wanting to do, and I think I'm gonna be able to learn that this year. My favorite project is buffing headlights and uh, making it uh, looking brand new. Uh, sanding, we sanding uh, um, the car and the truck, and then we use um, body filler. Then when it dry out, then we just sand it. And just let let it dry out for 25 minutes. Any junior or senior interested in taking an ASVAP on November 8th, see Mr. Shirai on Tampa. The deadline to sign up is October 31st. Sears, please tell your parents that there will be a senior parent pop in in the Parent Center in Tech Prep today at 10, from 10 to 2. Parents can stop by and learn about college admissions process. Life Snacks will be provided. Well, that's it for this episode of Hawk TV. I'm DeAndre Hill. And I'm Lenny Gray Woods. As Adam Thomas always says, today is a great day to be a Hawk. Very good. Put it on the computer. You see? Thank you, sir. The time before, we, they were doing really good. We was doing